ladies and gentlemen, we have plenty of ads on YGO Organization's page. Y'all got to fix this garbage. I'm going to keep on saying that in every video until I can somehow get an ad blocker on this page. But ladies and gentlemen, it's your host with the most Avery LR32 here. And destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that blue eyes subscribe button as we climb even further beyond the 1400 ladder. And we have some brand new blue eyes support. The blue eyes spirit ultimate dragon. Put that on your Tinder profile. You just might get some swipes to the right, not to the left. But if you remember, <laughs> um, a while back, I want to say like a few months ago at this point, we had gotten the name of the next structure deck, which is the Advent of the Eyes of Blue or Advent of Blue Eyes, whatever it's going to be called here in the TCG. Uh, it's supposed to come with eight new cards. They revealed the first four. Um, so who knows like what the remaining four could be. Maybe it's Spells and Traps or maybe it's a Link 1, whatever the case may be. Um, but this is what we have so far. It would be nice to see Blue Eyes get a Link 1. I don't think that'll ever happen, though. But I think that this new support is interesting. I read it last night, like 1 o'clock in the morning. I was just too tired. Uh, if you saw my community post, then you know that this video was coming. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss a single piece of content that we post on the channel. Anyway, enough shilling, even though I did write a book. Link in the description. Yes, don't judge a book by its cover. Okay, I'm done shilling. I'll shut up now. Blue Eyes, Spirit, Ultimate Dragon, Light Dragon, Synchro Effect, Martial Level 12, 3500 Attack, 4... Thousand defense. This thing is a beefy big boy. Two tuners plus one or more non-tuner blue eyes monsters. Now, these articles that Wide Your Organization posts actually get a lot of comments, and some people are asking how is it you're gonna cheese or rather get this out, but you do cheese it out. You can cheese it out with either Crimson Dragon or you use the original Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon to get out Blue Eyes Ultimate. So the two tuners thing isn't a big deal. And keep in mind it says two plus tuners. So you could use more than two tuners, uh, but you still have to use the one non-tuner Blue Eyes monster. So you can only use the second and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. Your opponent cannot vanish cards from the graveyard. Now, I was kind of confused about this. I'm still kind of confused about it when I read it last night because it says your opponent cannot vanish cards from your grave. So obviously they can't use things like Bice Steals, DD Crow, whatever. But if Shifter's active, since it's their card, does that mean you're not affected by Shifter? I don't think that's how it works. I'm sure one of y'all will let me know down in the comments because it just says your opponent cannot banish cards from your grave. Shifter is just a blanket. Any card sent to grave is banished instead. If this stops Shifter, uh, you blue eyes players better be crapping on the floor because that's insane. When a card or effect is activated on the field, quick effect, you can negate the activation. If you do, this card gains a thousand attack to the end of this turn. Not bad to have an Omni negate. I wish it just said a card or effect in general because this doesn't stop Nib because obviously Nib doesn't activate on the field. Um, doesn't stop hand traps because obviously those activate in hand. So it's not a bad Omni negate, but it's definitely not levels like Baron, you know, where it's just anywhere. If this card is struck by battle by card effect, you special summon a light dragon monster from your grave except Blue Eyes Spirit Ultimate. That's fine. It gets you to the original Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, so, and then the Spirit Dragon can get you to Ultimate. So they kind of tag for each other. That, that's not terrible. This is basically a retrain of Maiden of Eyes of Blue. It's called Maiden of White. Uh, a light spellcaster tuner effect monster, level 1, 0 attack and defense. Uh, has a similar targeting effect to the original Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Spoiler alert. You can use the first, second, and third effect of this card's name each once per turn. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Place one true light from your hand deck of graveyard face up in your spell and trap zone. That's actually not bad. If you special summon Blue Eyes White Dragon while this card is in your grave, you can special summon this card. So this thing's a level 1 tuner. So you special summon Blue Eyes from anywhere, your backyard, your graveyard, your deck, your toilet, wherever, you can special summon this thing out um, from the graveyard. So that's an instant blue eyes spirit dragon because it's a level one tuner, which can get you to ultimate dragon, and then your opponent's probably crapping all over the floor. <laughs> when a card or effect is activated that targets this card on the field, or when this card's targeting for an attack, just like the original Maiden with Eyes of Blue, you can special summon a blue eyes white dragon or a level one light tuner from your grave. All around a good card. It, it's not bad. I don't think it necessarily fixes consistency issues, but being able to get to true light since it places it so it can't be ashed, I think that that's really good. Uh, this is Prayers with Eyes of Blue, normal spell. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. Discard one card, add one level one light tuner, and one spell or trap that mentions Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck to your hand, except Prayers. This thing is a fucking pendulum call, which is really good. Being able to pitch one, actually, it's probably more like Melody, the Waking Dragon, but I guess it's kind of like a pen call getting you two cards. You play this, pitch a card, you get two cards, you go hand neutral, but you can get a lot of stuff. You can get Bingo Machine Go, Destined Rivals. Um, I think you can even get the ultimate engine of destruction trap. That's like, I think pretty good nowadays. Uh, so this card's absolutely insane. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one blue eyes, white dragon you control. Equip one blue eyes monster from your extra deck to it is an equip spell that gives it 400 attack. So each effect is once per turn. So you can use them both on the same turn. 
I don't know how good that is, um, because you equip a blue eyes monster from your extra deck. So like you can't use, I don't think you can use the tyrant wing dragon. Yeah, because that's not a blue eyes fusion. So I don't really know what you would equip with this. Maybe spirit or ultimate dragon. I mean, I guess you could do ultimate dragon, but it says that this card's destroyed by battle or card effect. So I guess technically you could equip it, pop it by a card effect, and then summon out the original spirit dragon. I guess. I, I really don't know how often that effect will come up. Uh, Saga of the Blue-Eyed Dragon, normal spell. You can only use one of the first and second effect of this card's name per turn, and only once that turn. Special summon one Blue-Eyes monster from your deck, graveyard, or banishment in defense mode. That's pretty good. But you can only special summon Blue-Eyes White Dragon with this effect if you do not control it. Also, you cannot special summon from the extra rest turn except drag monsters. We don't care about that. You can banish this card from your graveyard. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a blue eyes monster. It makes sense why they could only use one effect per turn of this card and only once per turn, because obviously you get one out and then fuse, that'd be busted AF. But overall, with these first four cards, this is just all the reprints and stuff. Um, overall, with the support... I don't know if it really fixes Blue Eyes, right? Because keep in mind that the biggest issue with Blue Eyes is actually a joke that people always make about Blue Eyes is that it's not called the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. It's called the Brick Eyes White Dragon deck because it, it just tends to brick. Um, you know, the, the famous 2016 World Championship match with Eric Christensen against the, the Japanese player, who apparently was a cheater anyway, but I digress. Um, both players essentially bricked Eric Christensen more than the, uh, his opponent. Um, like Eric Christensen went to go make a play, his opponent Valored, and then the guy drew for turn and he had Melody of the Awakening Dragon. He was just able to win that game from there. So it's always been a bricky deck. It's always been known for that. And I don't really know, other than, uh, Prayers with Eyes of Blue, I don't know how much the consistency is really fixed. Because you, you know that this prayers thing is going to get fucking ashed. You know from here to the moon and Mars and the stars, this thing is going to get ash blossomed every time if they have it. Now, if you can, like, bait out an ash and then play the prayers, then, yeah, your opponent's probably going to be crapping on the floor because this just gives you so much advantage. Being able to get the level 1 light tuner so you can get this new Maiden of White, plus you get any spell or trap that mentions Blue Eyes White Dragon specifically, so you can get Ultimate Fusion, Bingo Machine Go, True Light, like you can get a lot of things in the archetype, that this card's absolutely insane. Maybe if, you know, you're maxing out on three copies of this with three copies of Melody, then you could argue that that gives you more consistency, plus like White Stone of Legend can get Blue Eyes to your hand, even though Blue Eyes is a brick, you really don't ever want to open up the OG Blue Eyes. Um, I, I still feel like the issue is that Blue Eyes needs things that other meta decks get. So, like, I think for Blue Eyes to truly be, like, a meta contending deck, you need, like, a Link 1. You need, you know, either, like, a Link 1 and a Link 2, or just a Link 2. Uh, even a retrain of the original Blue Eyes, which some people would argue is alternative, but you still have to reveal the original Blue Eyes. And, you know, it's kind of like the sim similar issue with Exodia, except you're playing 5 bricks instead of, like, a potential 3. Whereas, like, you can sort of mitigate playing 3 bricks in a Blue Eyes deck in the form of the 3 vanilla monsters by just, like, playing a 60-card pile if you're able to pull that off. But whereas in Exodia, you know, you're playing five vanilla bricks that you just don't want to see in your hand. Uh, or with the new support, obviously, if you open up Shrine of Wedge, you can kind of mitigate things a little bit, but it's still not perfect. It'd be better to just have retrains of the five pieces of Exodia at that point. But, you know, maybe it will upset some casual players. I'm saying this deck needs a Link 1 and a Link 2, or even just a Link 1. But, you know, if you're a competitive player, if you're a meta player, and you want the shit to be good then you're going to want the deck to get stuff that every other meta deck in the fucking game gets. You know, like, even though Snake Eyes doesn't technically have a Link 1, they have Relinquished Anima that they use in their combo lines to, you know, get Poplar in the grave to get it back to help progress their plays. Even though they don't have a name archetype stamp Link 1, they kind of do in the form of what used to be Link Karibo, now Anima. You know, we need that kind of synergy, I feel like, with Blue Eyes, or at least even like a Link 1. Like, could you imagine if you go, like, Normal Summon White Stone of Legend... And then link it off for like a link one, like blue eyes, I don't know, unga bunga, please don't Nibiru me dragon. Like, and then the white stone gets you a search. And since white stone's a trigger effect that has to be on chain link one, it's like, what if you could do like a chain block where you're like chain link one stone, chain link two, link one blue eyes, crap you all over the floor, dragon to like search two blue eyes or something. Like, you know, that there's... 
There's things that they could do, and I think that Prayers is a good step in the right direction. I think the Maiden of White is really good, uh, especially since it's level 1. Keep in mind that you could one-for-one one this little girl out. Um, and I think you could also do that with the original Maiden with Eyes of Blue. I think she was also a level 1. Um, this thing being a level 12 obviously isn't optimal, but I feel like if you're going to be playing a Blue Eyes deck, you're probably going to be playing other dragons. So, like, you're going to be playing the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, obviously. You're probably going to be playing the Asia Rise Silver Dragon, too. You're probably going to be playing fucking Crimson Dragon, just because it's good. Maybe even Tzulkan, because I think... No, you cannot uh, get Blue Eyes Spirit with Tzulkan, because it has to be a level 7 or 8 Dragon Synchro, and Spirit's a level 9. So, I'm excited to mess around with this. Blue Eyes is a super fun deck at the end of the day, like... You know, obviously, as a as a competitive player, I want this deck to be meta because I would love to roll up with a Blue Eyes deck uh, to a regional because I don't think I've actually done that in years. Um, and I, I think that the deck would be hella fun. And also, this Ultimate Dragon seems like it would be kind of good. The Banishing thing is kind of like whatever, but I guess it can just say screw you to Bice Steals, which I feel like that could really hurt this deck. You know, you try to go True Light to revive a Blue Eyes, and they're like, nah, screw you, Bice Steal. And then you're just kind of crapping on the floor with your bricks. <laughs> so... Guys, let me know what you think about this support down in the comments below. Is there just something I'm missing? I'm no, I'm no Blue Eyes expert, but I'm just going based off of what I know just off the top of my head. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.